Hey kiddos, it's Miss Valerie's story time and shenanigans and we're back. It's been forever. I know it's been a really long time guys and there's been so much going on and I'm so glad to be back. Wait, what? What? That's not even funny. Anyways, forget you, Diva, Diva Chick says Shaka Khan. <laughs> I know, Miss Valerie's hair is a little big. Yeah, yeah, ha, 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 ha. Funny. Look at your feathers. They ain't all that anyway. Anyway, Diva Chick, what? Okay, whatever. She says she look good. Okay, you do. I, I have to admit it. So, you do look good, Diva Chick. It's been a long time and I'm so glad you guys are back. And we are so excited to bring another book and Diva Chick got jokes. So... <laughs> We picked out this one and, you know, because everybody has bad days, right? Um, I'm sure you do. I know Miss Valerie does. I know Diva Chick does. And sometimes our kids drive us cuckoo or maybe some of your parents drive you cuckoo. And so sometimes you get what? Mad, okay? And so we picked this book. This was Mouth Was Mad. And we are going to dedicate this out to little Angie who had a birthday and she was mad because... Miss Valerie and Diva Chick ain't done a, a book in a while, so we're going to do this in dedication to her <laughs> and Sammy and Jacob and all you guys have been waiting for the book. Here it goes. This is Mouse Was Mad. And look, you can tell Mouse is really mad, okay? Look it. Oh, I just, look, look at this. All of those. He is throwing a fit. Look, I don't know if you know what he's mad about. He's just mad. He's just upset. Look, holler. Already carrying out. What? Diva Chick said he better calm down. Okay? <laughs> she don't like that craziness. All right. Mouse was mad. Hopping mad. You look ridiculous, <laughs> said Hare. Mouse was like, what? Let me show you how to hop properly, said Hare, who truly was a hopping whiz. Told Mozzie looked silly up there hopping. Look at that. Boing, 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 boing. Hare really knows how. If you're going to be hopping mad, you might as well do it right, right? Mouse tried to hop like Hare. Well, nothing doing. What is he doing? He looked like he's trying to dance like MC Hammer. <laughs> I know. Mouse hop, hop, flop, splish into a muddy mud puddle. Oh, no. How you think he feels now, huh? Diva Check said, I bet he mad now. Ooh, Mouse was stomping mad now. <laughs> and dirty, too. She said, and wet. Okay, I know. That is horrible. You call that stomping, said Bear. Mouse stopped stomping. Hmm. Because he was out there carrying on. Stomping done right should result in the shaking of trees and the rumbling of the earth, said Bear. So Bear stomped. I'm gonna show him how it's done. Look at that. The trees shook and the earth rumbled. Look at my straight attitude. He think he can do that. Diva Chick said he cannot. Be too tiny. Mouse tried to stomp like Bear. The trees did not shake and the earth did not rumble. Diva Chick said, duh. Mouse stomp, stomp, flomp, splush into another mucky mud puddle. Two puddles in a row? How do you think he feels now? And Yeah. Now Mouse was really, really mad. Screaming mad. Diva Chick said, I hope you don't make too much noise. She don't like screaming. That's hardly a scream at all, said Bobcat. Mouse, stop screaming. Huh? Look at, look at Bobcat. When I scream, you can hear it echo through the woods. So Bobcat screamed to prove his point, and it echoed and echoed. He went, ah! Did you hear it? Yeah, that echo. <laughs> Diva Chick said, don't do that again. <laughs> I'm sorry, girl. <laughs> Mouse opened his mouth wide and let out the loudest scream he could manage. <laughs> there was no echo. So, he tried arching his back like Bobcat, but lost his balance. He went, 
and sploosh into yet another mucky mud puddle. I, I, I don't know. Deepa Chick said, where he at that there's so many mud puddles? Maybe he need to go someplace else. Maybe that's why you mad. It was raining. Now Mouse was really, really, really mad, rolling around on the ground, acting a fool, and as soon as he saw that, Hedgehog said, pull your feet in. Mouse stopped rolling. Because look at him. He was rolling around. Hedgehog like, what you doing? The best rolling is achieved when the body is a perfect sphere, Hedgehog said. Hedgehog tucked in his nose and his feet and his hands, and he was a perfect sphere. Do you know what a sphere is? It's a ball. Yep. It's pretty cool. Mouse tucked in his nose and his feet and his hands. He was not a perfect sphere, but he was close. Let's see. No. Diva Chick says, psych, he's not close. Y'all lying to him. He pulled his tail and rolled around and around. Sploosh! Uh-oh, guys. Where did he land again? In another puddle. In another puddle. In another puddle. Okay. What do you think? What do you think he felt like now? Now Mouse was really, 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 really mad. Standing still. Still mad. Okay, guys. This is like when you make your mama so mad and she goes like this. And looks at you like this. Okay. That's scary mad. If she looks at you like that, whatever it is you're doing, stop it immediately. Yeah. The diva chick said she did the same thing. Her chick. She said her chicks better stop when she goes like this. Okay. That means stop. Doing whatever you're doing. Oh, hi, huggy. So he was standing still mad. Mouse did not hop. He did not stomp. He did not scream or roll on the ground. He stood very, very still. Impressive, said Hare. What control, said the bear. Are you even breathing, said Hedgehog. Man, they're looking at him like he must be super mad. That's the don't play with me mad. That's the mama mad. Mouse took a deep breath. He let his breath out. Bobcat heard air whistle through the mouse's nose, but he did not see Mouse move. Inspiring, said Bobcat. Whee! Bobcat stood very still. He breathed deep and tried not to move. Look, Mouse still ain't moving. Your ears twitch, said Hare. Let me try but he could not keep his tail from wiggling. <laughs> Look at Mouse looking at them. What, what are y'all doing? Bear tried, but when he breathed deep, trees moved and the ground shook a little. Hedgehog came closest, but even he could not keep his bristles from bristling. They stood together for a long time, breathing and trying to be still. <laughs> Look at Mouse. What in the world are y'all doing? Diva Chick said they all look ridiculous. And then Mouse realized he was no longer mad. Mainly because he's looking at them trying to figure out what they're trying to do. I feel better now, said Mouse. You look better now, said Bear. But you need a bath, said Hedgehog. Because <laughs> you done fell in all those mud puddles. That's a good idea, said Mouse. Diva Chick said she agrees because he probably stinks. Splash! He got a bath and he is no longer mad, but he was hopping mad. And Diva Chick said next time he need to get someplace without so many mud puddles. I agree, girl. That was so fun. So if you, again, the lesson in this book is if your mama is very still and is looking at you like this, whatever it is you're doing, stop doing it before it gets worse. All right? <laughs> or like this. Diva Chick said, all right. We'll see you next time for Miss Valerie's Story Times and Shenanigans. Have a great one. Bye, guys.